Speaker, and can I thank the Leader of the House for announcing what there is in the way of business for next week? And can I say how grateful we are on these benches for the very kind words that have been expressed about Gordon Wilson? He was somebody who loved this place. I know that the words expressed here today will be great comfort to Gordon's family and friends. But, Mr. Speaker, what a meagre business statement this is. <laughs> Scanning the business, it looks like. There will be absolutely no votes at all this week, and given that the government only secured a majority of 14 last night, we can see why they won't regularly want to test the will of this House. <laughs> this, this is already a, a zombie government inhabiting a minority wasteland, unable to impose itself or even give the nation the relief of it just being gone. And there is much to debate, Mr. Speaker, primarily and particularly the grubby deal that's been stitched up with the Democratic Unionist Party, which demonstrates the worst excesses of Port barrel politics. In fact, this deal would give pig based receptacles a bad name. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, you decided that I couldn't secure a, an emergency debate understanding Order 24. But you would think the government would be rushing to this House to, in order to debate this particular deal. And members must be able to scrutinise, to ask questions, to debate what is going on. It's a deal that turns the normal funding arrangements of the nations of the United Kingdom totally on their head. It is unbelievable that a deal of such significance and importance could be passed through this House without any debate and de scrutiny in this House. And we urgently need a debate about the role of the Scotland Office in all of this. This is, this is now run by a secular state without any shred of credibility who has state failed to stand up for vital Scottish interests, who says one thing about a funding arrangement in Barnet Formula One date and is then contradicted the next. He is someone who is about mu as much use as EMU without Rod Hull. Mr Speaker, we on these benches will continue to fight for the vital Scottish interests, and this week we now know that all these new Scottish Tories will be nothing other than apologists and lobby for, the, for this chaotic Conservative government.